around what when you were sixteen is when you began to work with T Rex. Yeah, about uh six about seventeen. Six yeah, sixteen, seventeen is a little bit but sixteen young yeah, like late sixteen, early seventeen. And he was like uh, he's like an up and coming with he is not up and coming but he like a almost like outside of the sea, like a super producer in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. How was it working with him in the early stages? So we were just going off of each other's vibe and we were just kind of creating a new vibe. And I feel like, you know, we both had something that we could bring to each other's crafts. You know, um, him working with me as a, um, as a female artist, because, you know, it's just now becoming a thing to me where female artists are really getting the shine that they didn't used to get, you know? So, yeah, we were just experimenting a lot. And yeah, we came up with a lot of creative, creative ideas. Um, but you just saying that like now, that like female artists are starting, I guess, having a freedom to express themselves, in a sense, as far as with the music. Even though I feel like it's always kind of been like that, but I would say nowadays that um, a lot of them, not all of them, express like more so like their sexuality and their music in a sense ours but then you got like the Megan the Stallion type yeah they kind of like it's men bashing music I just say that <laughs> it's probably not the correct term to use I don't, don't judge me but I just I'm gonna sum it up in that way um you think it's male bashing some yeah, of it, some, some of mean, it not overall I would just categorize it that way but I just say they being very expressive compared to back then where women wasn't as vocal. Even now with them having, what I'm asking you is, like, um, you know, when, when women make their music, for me to even just say it's male bashing, like, um, do you think that people like take like a Cardi B or um, Meg Thee Stallion in those type of sense and kind of label them as a, um, bad example of a black woman versus I'm just accepting them as far as expressing the experiences that they had in life my my play on it is that I just feel like there's a lot of like tension between the two sexes anyway when you think about like how women have been talked about in music i feel like right now women are just kind of expressing their side and sometimes it could be taken the wrong way because it just seems like oh well they don't like they don't like what um it's like they don't it's like oh we feel this way towards men and i don't really think i don't really think it's that i think it's just that women feel like they need to speak up for women in a different way and like it's helping women to kind of like have a voice and like you know music to me is not always just like what was said right here it's about like how how like what do you mean by it or basically I think that there's there's just like different types of women where it's like being uh, being unapologetic and learning how to say what you feel mm -hmm. it's like a fine line between that sometimes and I just think you know first it's gonna be like that because it's been so many years where it feels like the music is only like promoting like this is all of what a woman is good for mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and I feel like in a sense that kind of confuses society in a way already because it's just like why does it have to be from one extreme to the next it feels like there's no middle ground or no space for you kind of just to be like oh well i love myself and like if these you know it's just like maybe you know that shock value and all those things i feel like all of that comes first before we can kind of like calm down and obviously it's a you know a lot of other women that are kind of like coming from that perspective too it just seems like certain women might just be getting that extra attention, attention. that those other people aren't getting because like you said shock value yeah so people are going to be more drawn to that versus um somebody who doesn't make that kind of music like for instance like your style of music how would you describe it 
Well, I try and I try and use like a little bit of my own personal experience. Sometimes I've been feeling like, you know, there's no music for the woman that is in a relationship and that maybe isn't like out in the streets a lot or like hella submissive or whatever it seems like it's like not that balanced like kind of what you were saying so I feel like I like to come from a relationship um, standpoint with a lot of my music maybe like some of my older music or other music that I've released is like for those people that may be like in that in between stage too but also having something for people that are in relationships, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like a lot of people are in relationships and a lot of people are tied in with that one person, but they don't have any music, you know, for that. But like you said, you've been putting in work for a while and like music, like you say, relationship style music get overshadowed. Yeah. By that, you know, music. Even though like Cardi B, she might, I'm sure she have songs, you know, be careful, you know, some yeah. she expresses her, you know, relationship side. Yeah. But, not compared to like a um, WAP that's gonna, you know, fly off the chart. <laughs> yeah. 